Hi folks, this is Tony at Travel Scoot. I'm, uh, in this video I'm just going to go over the controls on the Travel Scoot models very briefly. Uh, let's start with our ancient belt drive model. Uh, very simply, on off switch. One solid green light indicating that you have power to the system. Twist grip throttle, I'm going to stall the motor to show you what a failed indicator looks like. It may take a second. What we're going to do is just stall out the battery until it goes to overload mode. And it's grinding and trying hard. Come on, any time now. All right, flashing red indicates that you've got some sort of system failure even though you have electricity. That can be the result of a stalled out motor, a bad cable, or a loose connection. This setup also has an amber light in the middle. Uh, it's a very short phase indicating that your battery power is about to run out. Uh, that's about it on these scooters. The jumps between green, yellow, and red were relatively short, so you'd have a green phase for a very long time, and then yellow and red would happen fairly quickly without giving you enough warning to usually get to uh, where you needed to be to recharge. Anyway, so much for that. Uh, let's move on to the current model's scooters. You will either have a round on-off button, with the forward to reverse slider, very simply, you've got a round button, push on, push off. Let's leave it on for a second. Slide it to the right is forward. The center position, which could be interpreted as neutral, is also forward. We made sure that there is no neutral. And then all the way to the left is reverse. You have a green, yellow, and red light. Each one of these lights indicates approximately one-third of the battery's capacity. So when the first light goes out, the green light, and you have the yellow and red remaining, you've consumed the first 33 percent or so of your battery's capacity. When the second light, the yellow one, goes out as well, and you have the red light left, at the very top of that red light phase, that still means you've got at least one-third of your battery's charge remaining. So there's no need to panic. You've got plenty of time to get to where you're going. Start thinking about it, but don't worry about it. And then, of course, you've got, I'm going to turn this off, you've got your twist grip throttle, just like you have on the predecessor model, uh, Travel Scoot, and the Shoppers as well. And then uh, we are transitioning, uh, no big deal, to slightly different controls. They appear the same. I'm going to remove this cramp buster very briefly, uh, except the on-off button is an oval red, and the forward and reverse are forward, reverse, forward, reverse. A little more intuitive, perhaps. Same twist grip throttle, but uh, the light indications are a little bit different. Instead of the yellow light, you have green, green, red. The uh, proportions are still the same as on the green, yellow, red indicator. Each one of these represents about one third of the battery's charge. And that's essentially it. The function is identical. So much for the Travel Scoot's controls. Thanks for watching and happy scooting.